Hey guys, it's Icy New Year, and I'm here to share something I've been playing around with on Feed the Beast. I'm kind of obsessed with the bees, and I was trying to find a way to, <coughs> excuse me, automate uh, the process of continually reproducing new drones once you have a breed you like. So, what I've set up here, because I don't have logistics pipes, I couldn't control the number of drones that were being pushed in here. So I played around with a turtle, and basically I wrote this program, and the program is going to be linked in the description. There we go. And what it does is it's going to pull each item out of here. Now, there is a 10 second wait between each item pull, uh, and that was to you know make sure you didn't lag yourself out by having it go every second and try. Uh, that can be adjusted, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But um pulls an item out. If it is the drone it needs, it's going to put it here. It's going to keep one princess, one drone. You put a princess here, a drone here, and it's uh, will keep those as your reference, so it always keeps the right amount in here. Um, anything it doesn't need, it's going to put in a chest to the left. So basically set this up by having an apiary. Right behind that, a turtle. Um, this chest will be piped back to your house, and this will be where all your drones and honeycomb and everything go. And then the chest right to the right of this is going to be piped directly into the apiary. And you can see this is just simple piping. I'll reveal that real quick. Um, so apiary, turtle, chest to send items to your house, chest to send items into the apiary. Super simple. There we go. And this is going to continually check here. Um, when this breeds again, it'll suck them out. It'll put the right number in the chest here. Pop it through. Now this is only going to work for bees that already have, um, you already have a stable um, growth of. So you could have, you know, two cultivated peers if you just want to continue to produce uh, your cultivated drones. It's really useful for getting your um, already with your splicers so you can get your uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your templates and all that jazz to get enough bees for that. You can just let this thing go and have it have at it. Um, but to change the delay on this, and as I said the source code will be linked uh, down below. Uh, both as a download, and I think I'm going to upload it to just a place where you can copy-paste it. Through here, it's really simple. I'm sure it could be optimized better. But the thing you need to change, if you want to change the time it's sleeping, right here, sleep 10. If you put that higher, it's going to take longer between actions. So if you're having any problems with lag, you can change that. I've had this running all night. On uh, Sleep 10, I've had absolutely no lag. Uh, this is single player. It should work in multiplayer. So you can adjust this up or down depending on your needs. Uh, I find 10 works really well. But, um, yep. That's uh, what I've got for you there. It can be left on indefinitely. And, you know, you can always move this to a startup program. I apparently can't spell. There we go. Just run the beekeeper program and it'll start right up. Uh, but that's going to be linked down in the description. Um... If you have any uh, changes, uh, the wow! If you have any changes you think would uh, help optimize it, um, leave me a message I'd, uh, in the comments. I'd love to see it. I'd love to make this thing work a little bit better. Obviously, you can set up as many of these guys as you need, um, and the drone doesn't use any fuel because it's not moving anywhere. So yeah, um, thank you guys. A like and a comment is great, um, and have a great day.